What's going on everyone, it's the Fake Weeb here, and today's gonna be a short video as there won't be a new chapter for Jujutsu Kaisen. Apparently the manga is going on break this week, which was kind of out of nowhere and very sudden, so I hope Giga Ekutami is doing alright. I think I've been reviewing Jujutsu Kaisen for a while that, at this point, I feel good that Gege is taking a break and not bad that there won't be a new chapter. Uh, but yeah, no chapter this week, meaning no spoilers. However, we do get the chapters preview and it actually kind of says a spoiler So if you don't want to get spoiled, then please click off this video as I'll be talking about it right now Okay, so in this next chapter someone will use domain expansion and Honestly after hearing that I have a feeling that this next chapter is just a lot to draw And maybe that's why Giga Ekutami is taking a break this week because he realized that he needed more time to draw draw this chapter, and that would kind of explain the break announcement being very sudden and abrupt. Now the question is, who is going to use domain expansion? I feel like a lot of people are thinking Yuta, and rightfully so. It would be dope to see Yuta popping his first domain expansion, especially since he's going all out, calling Rika and saying he's going to use all of her powers, and so that might give the energy for Yuta to unleash his domain, but for some reason I have a feeling it's not going to be Yuta, but either Yuro or Ishigori, because since Yuta is going to use Rika, one of them might think that they have to counter it and go all out by popping their domain expansion as a defense to Yuta and Rika, or at least I think that would make the most sense. And I feel like Yuro, if she were to have a domain, it would be really cool since her technique itself is pretty elite, the ability to kind of like warp the sky and how that can be maximized if she popped a domain expansion. Or maybe it's going to be Ishigori because he was going on about how no one was able to fulfill his hunger and Yuta has the potential to do that. And so when Yuta uses Rika, Ishigori's hunger will be filled because he's found like a worthy opponent and that will cause him to use his domain expansion. I mean, despite whether he does use it or not, I do think Ishigori's ends will meet in either this or the next next chapter. Uh, I'm not sure how Yuro will play out, either her ends will meet like Ishigori, or she might ally with Yuta, as we've seen a trend in the Cullen games with allies in each POVs. Yuji allying with Higuruma, Megumi making an ally with Takaba, so yeah, with Yuta's POV, it wouldn't surprise me if Yuro made an ally with him, as we might learn more about her past and connections with the Fujiwaras. Let me know your guys' prediction on who you think is going to use domain expansion. Do you think it's going to be Yuta, Yuro, Ishigori? I'd love to hear your thoughts, as you guys know, I do read the comment section. But yeah, short video for today, but also pretty hype, as we know there will be a banger chapter next week, so look forward to that. Also, the movie will be coming out in North America on the same day the chapter comes out, so it's gonna be a very special Friday that week. I might actually vlog the JJK movie and make a review on it, so yeah, let me know if you guys want to see that, but with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this short and sweet video. It's been the fake weeb, and I'm out. Peace.